Hello and welcome to this quick little guide on how to install the Amazon SSM agent, a powerful tool for both management and automation, uh, as well as for instance access without having to rely on SSH or RDP. As part of the onboarding process for Cloud One here at Mission, we'll ask that you ensure the SSM agent is installed on all of the servers that will be under our management. Um, but with that being said, let's jump right into it. Um, we're going to go ahead and start with Linux, which is very simple. We'll really just run one command. Uh, now that command will vary from OS to OS. So we will include some links in the description of this video to direct the appropriate command um, to get the agent installed for your distribution. But as you can see, I've already SSH into the instance that I went ahead to cr uh, and created to install SSM on. All I need to do here once I have SSH into the server is run the installation command as sudo. So please note that it, that means that it does require elevated privileges or the ability to use sudo to get it installed. Um, at this point, it's going to run through its process, download the package, and install it. Um, but as you can see, it's already done, so very quick process. Um, once it is completed, you will want to run a system control status amazon-ssm-agent uh, and that will give us the status of the service. So we're looking for this section right here, active and running. And that indicates to us that uh, obviously it is running, it's installed, and everything is looking good with the agent. Um, you will notice down here some status code 404 and, and all these errors here, and that's because there is currently no IAM role attached to this instance, um, which is also required for SSM to function and interact with the actual AWS service systems manager. Um, but us on the mission side, once we have access to your account, we can take care of coordinating changing those roles or adding the necessary permissions to the existing roles to accomplish that. Um, and please note that for auto-scaled servers, the best practice is to ensure that it is either baked into the AMI or that we add it to the user data script that runs when the instance is created so that access is not lost when the instance is replaced. 